Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, and these are the worst exercises that you can do. And the funny thing is, I see people doing these every time I step into the gym. But don't worry, because I'm going to show you what to do to replace them. Now watch this video until the end, because you have probably done at least one of these. I know I have. Now the first exercise that you need to avoid is upright rows. The problem with upright rows is that it puts your shoulder in a bad position. When you're coming up like this, it's going against your rotator cuff. And what's happening is it's creating a lot of micro tears in your tendons. A lot of people are doing this wrong. They're going off for old advice, but that is something you completely need to avoid. But the good news is we have something to replace it with. One of the good things that you can replace it with is face pulls. By doing face pulls, you can get that same effective shoulder workout by getting your rear deltoids, by putting them in a good position, and it also doesn't hurt your shoulders. Another good exercise that you can do is side lateral raises. This is really gonna target the middle delt, which you're trying to get with those upright raises in a more safe position. You can do this with resistance bands, you can do it with a cable machine, or you can do it with dumbbells. It's great for really developing your shoulders. So stop using upright rows and do it the right way. Now the next exercise that you need to avoid, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but I got a good reference is going to be the deadlift. Deadlifts are something that we see a lot of times as a staple in the gym. You've got those big plates on the side, you're standing up and you're letting them go, plow. And the problem with doing the deadlift is most people, and I mean most people, do them incorrectly. What happens is they round their back, they're pulling with their back instead of standing up with their legs they're not in a good position to do it. And because most people do it wrong, I really feel that we should avoid this exercise. And if you don't want to believe what I'm saying, he's like, hey, he's just some random YouTuber on the internet, Robert Urbers. <laughs> boo boo, can you come over here and tell me, see how to pronounce this? See where it says deadlift, strongman, Robert, what's that last name, how do you pronounce that? O-B-E-R-S-T. You got your phone on you? Arbst, like it's arbst, not Obers, that would be the American way, obers, but there's no um, apostrophe, so obst. Like it has to be one smuggled together. Counter oberst. I was right. A world strongman said on a recent podcast, and I quote, I'm gonna read this to you. If you go to any gym, Division One football gym, or any athletics where people are getting paid, they are not doing deadlifts. And he goes on to say that the reason is, it's more risk than reward. Because so many people do it incorrectly, they're putting their back at harm. You see way more injuries than you do progress when it comes to it. Now, if you're a person who's super disciplined and you're doing it right with your back straight in perfect form, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the other 95% of people that are out there. And this is something that it's not that it doesn't work, it's just when it's done improperly, you can injure yourself and you can't work out. And there's so many other exercises we can do to replace them with. For instance, what muscles work out on a deadlift is gonna be some of your back muscles there when it comes to your hamstrings, your glutes, your gluteus maximus. It also works out your traps there and it works out your quads. But we can get a lot of that with other exercises by doing them safer. So for instance, you can do squats, you can do lunges. Those squats are gonna get those quads for you. Those lunges are gonna get those hamstrings, those glutes for you, that gluteus maximus. And if you're looking to work out your traps, you can really focus on them with trap raises or shoulder raises. Those are things that are really gonna help you work out those areas and target them better. And you don't have to worry about so much injury because most people are gonna do those properly, then they're gonna do them wrong. So I'm telling you, I implore you, if you're doing deadlifts, there is a better way. Just go ahead and do those alternative exercises. Now the next one. Every time I see this at the gym, I just, uh, I don't know, I just shake my head because oh, it's like, what are you doing? The next one is gonna be side bends. I see a lot of people out there, they're grabbing a plate on the side and they're just going back and forth, back and forth. And it's like, what are you doing? Who told you this was a good idea? For one, it doesn't work. 
That should eliminate to begin with. The other thing is that it puts your spine in a bad position. Our spine is not meant to be bending that far in that direction. And then you're gonna add weight to it. This could really hurt your back, your spine, and it's not even working out what's intended to work out because people think it's working out your obliques, but it's not. So what you wanna do is replace it with some other exercises that really hit your obliques. So you can do like some side crunches, you can do leg raises at an angle, and those are really gonna help you target those obliques. Working out your obliques is essential, but if you're doing the side bends, that ain't it. Now, speaking of obliques and ab exercises, another one that you need to just throw out completely, this is the worst, is gonna be Russian twists. I see a lot of people doing that. They're getting the ball or they're tapping their hands. They're going back and forth. They got their butt kind of like the center portion of it and they're twisting back and forth. Now, unlike the side bends, it does work a little bit to a certain point, but the problem is, kind of like the problem we have with deadlifts are, it's gonna cause more injury. So the reason why you don't wanna do this is because it puts your spine in a curved position at a sustained state. And what's that doing is it's being very bad for your back and your spine there. It's gonna be very bad for those discs that are right there. And the reason why I know this here, and if you don't believe me, I got another source for you, it's gonna be Bob and Brad. They're the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. They have a whole channel with millions of subscribers all about doing things properly to prevent injury. And on their worst exercises that they put out is gonna be the Russian twist. Cause they show you coming from actual physical therapists why this is terrible by putting your spine in a bad position. So if you want to go ahead and do something as far as working out your obliques, just like how we said before, when it comes to doing those side crunches or if it comes to doing those leg raises at an angle, it's gonna be a better way of doing it. But you definitely wanna avoid those Russian twists. Now, remember when I said earlier, I've done at least one of these? Well, I've done a couple of these, but this one right here, this one hits home because uh, this was, was something that I found out the hard way. Dumbbell pullovers. You wanna avoid doing dumbbell pullovers. A lot of people do this exercise thinking it's really gonna help you work out your lats. It does to a certain point, but more risk than reward, okay? So the reason why you wanna avoid this exercise is that when you're coming down and putting your shoulders back all the way back against where they are in the socket there, you have this, this thing where you can make them pop out of socket. And if you're adding more and more weight, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Cause you will progress in the exercise. It's not that the exercise doesn't work. It's just that you're gonna reach a point where it's gonna be a higher risk than reward. Because we do need progressive overload to build our muscles. So we're trying to build our lats. And so naturally you're gonna to wanna to try to add some more weight. So what happened to me was I was doing it with a 60 pound dumbbell and I had been doing it consistently with that weight for a while. And then one day I went back and I heard a pop and I grabbed my shoulder and immediately stopped the exercise and I knew something was wrong. So you check out this photo. Had to go see an orthopedic, go get an MRI and had some ligament damage. And it took a long time to rehab to get my shoulder back the way it was at full strength. So learn from my mistake. You wanna avoid this exercise because there's so many other ways to work out your lats in a more effective way. If you can do like a kneeling lat pull down with one handle on a cable or a resistance band, that's gonna be a lot more effective of targeting that same area on the lats that you're trying to get with that dumbbell pullover. So please avoid this exercise, replace it with a kneeling lat pull down. It's gonna get that area so much better, so much more effective, and it doesn't put your shoulder in a bad position for injury. Now this next one, it is the number one thing that I see people doing at the gym incorrectly. I see this all the time, from beginners to advanced users. What they do is they do lat pull downs behind the neck, okay? You don't wanna do that. You wanna avoid that completely. The reason is it's gonna put your shoulder in what's called exterior rotation. So your shoulder is going behind the center of plane where it is, where your, where your rotator cuff is. So 
you're going down and you're pressing down and it's just rubbing against those tendons it's hyper extending those tendons you don't want to do that because over time that's going to cause a deterioration that's going to give you shoulder injuries and it's going to prevent you from working out so all you have to do is change it from the back to doing it in the front the thing is it's going to do the exact same thing but it's not going to put your shoulders at risk for injury so you want to keep that chest out you want to pull down you're going to feel those lats right here and that's what you want to do so just replace it by going from the back to the front and this will make it so that you can still work out for a long time and get great results so now that we know the worst exercises that you can do click this video right here so you can know the best chest exercises to do and then after you're done with that click this video here so you can learn how to lose that stubborn belly fat